Hello, today with Caleb, we are back with our Hidden Gem series, and this film uh, is Rat Race, <laughs> a great zany film that we're going to just dive into, not to be confused with the uh, 1960 Rat Race film uh, starring Tony Curtis, uh, based on a play by the same name, uh, or the 1980 film of the same name. I don't think that was based on the play. Uh, but this is the 2001 Rat Race, uh, not, not based on any previous Rat Race. <laughs> this is its own thing. A comedy with an ensemble cast, which includes uh, Rowan Atkinson, Whoopi Goldberg, Cuba Gooding Jr., Wayne Knight, which he's fantastic in this. They are John Lovitz, Kathy Najimy, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, She's great. She's coming back for Hocus Pocus 2. Uh, Lionel Chap Chapman. And again, I hope I'm saying these uh, correctly. Brickemeyer. Amy Smart, <laughs> who has a, a fun part in this uh, movie. Seth Green, also great part. Vince Vailoof. John Cleese, and uh, a small role for Dave Thomas. This uh, directed by Jerry Zucker, and the, if you don't know Jerry Zucker, you might know the Zucker brothers who directed uh, spoof films such as Airplane and Top Secret. He all, uh, Jerry also did a drama movie, Ghost, uh, which gets parodied a lot when they're making the clay. Uh, that's probably pretty heavily parodied. Uh, the f this film was heavily inspired by another uh, ensemble comedy movie. It's a mad, 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 mad world. I think there's four mads, <laughs> uh, which is a great uh, film in its own right. It had cameos from like the Three Stooges, uh, I think Don Knotts was in there. Uh, fantastic film uh, on its own, so if you haven't seen that, go check out that movie, because that's a great one too. That one... Uh, I forget exactly how they all team up, but they all go uh, in search of a buried treasure. X marks the spot, and they kind of get stopped along the way. But this one uh, is different. It is an ensemble comedy cast, and they are going for money. But it's not buried treasure. Uh, the plot... Then with people going after money, uh, the, the film has six teams, uh, not of just six teams, because John Lovitz, his family is kind of his team, so it's not teams of two or anything. Most are teams of two, uh, but they're given the task to race 563 miles from Las Vegas to New Mexico, and uh, when they get to New Mexico, they have a locker. They're all given a key to this one locker, and inside the locker, uh, it's a duffel bag with, is it a million dollars? Two million dollars. That, that's that got to be a big duffel bag. Uh, so... Like I said, each team is given a key, and the first team to arrive in New Mexico uh, and open the locker with the money inside gets it, but uh, John Cleese, 
is kind of like the the leader of this uh, game, if you will, and he's invited these very rich uh, folks to come, and they bet on anything and everything. And during the race, they they bet on stupid stuff, uh, but they all bet on which team will make it to New Mexico and win. They all have their bets. Uh, some go for like Rowan Atkinson, but are soon disappointed when they find out that he has like a sleeping disorder, so randomly just stops and like goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> which fantastic uh, character uh, trait there. But the teams kind of go their own way. Some trying cars, planes, helicopters, tra uh, buses, trains, every form of transportation uh, they try and don't always succeed. And a, a lot of hijinks ensues. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rowan Atkinson gets teamed up with Wayne Knight, who is carrying a, a transplant, a heart transplant, and he has to make it to the hospital. But somehow, I forget exactly, but they, the heart falls out of the ice chest and like into this field and they have to like restart it. There are some great uh, comedy gags in this. And then Amy Smart visit like on the way they're in this helicopter. They're gonna win hands down. I mean, nobody else has secured a faster mode of transportation, but she stops at her boyfriend's house, which is Dean Kane, Superman, uh, for most of us, our Ripley's Believe It or Not host. But he is uh, cheating on her, and she goes crazy, like tears up the pool that they're in, tears up his truck, or tries to, and eventually that leads to the helicopter not flying anymore. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff like that. Like you think they're going to make it. Like Whoopi Goldberg and her daughter like get into this the world's like fastest car. You think they're going to make it. Uh, you know there's a lot of that along the way. Seth Green finds this truck. You think they're going... There's up and downs. Cuba has this bus filled with Lucy impersonators and a fan of I Love Lucy and Lucille Ball. That was a great touch to this movie. Uh, and Rat Race, such a... Such a... Such a good title because you know we're all in the rat race of life and that's a cool touch to think about and recently I, I was watching uh, a video on the downfall of spoof films and uh, this was not mentioned but this probably one of the last great uh, spoof films early 2000s 01 uh so right on the cusp of like scary movie the scary movie films and i guess zucker the zucker brothers kind of after their peak with airplane and stuff but great film and a fantastic cast i I can't think of another film with this many great actors and actresses in one movie. Uh, there's a couple with five or six, seven, uh, but how many's how many's in this film? There's like fifteen, ten, fifteen main characters in this film. Uh, so that's great. 
And we're going to talk about the minor cameos as well. So there's like 20 or so heavy hitters uh, in this in this movie, uh, which kind of blows your mind because today I can't... Well, I guess maybe with like Murder on the Orient Express, that was an ensemble cast. There's been some other ones, uh, but a great ensemble cast and a great a great story uh, to everybody going after money and getting caught up along the way, uh, and they kind of all end up at the end. Uh, fighting for the money, it gets caught up in this hot air balloon with a cow, which is another uh, great gag. I believe they use a cow in Top Secret as well. Anyway, the money gets flown into like this charity event where Smash Mouth is. We'll talk about them in a minute. Love Smash Mouth uh, at the height with Shrek. Uh, it w it played non-stop at Universal when Shrek 4D came out. The Shrek film had just dropped in theaters. They would play that constantly. Uh, I'm a Believer, and then, of course, All-Star, what they're most known for. But let's talk about the, the minor cameos. Uh... First, Paul Rodriguez uh, as Gus, the taxi driver, who uh, made a bet uh, for a football game. Cuba Gooding was a referee, made a terrible call. This taxi driver lost tons of money, so he gets upset <laughs> with him. And probably the, the best, uh, as far as cameos go, Kathy Bates plays this, like, crazy uh, lady who sells squirrels, or tries to sell squirrels to Whoopi Goldberg, who doesn't want a squirrel, obviously, but then uh, Kathy gets mad, so she's, she tells them wrong directions, and they end up doing, like, the off-the-cliff the jump. Uh, what's that? Comment down below what that iconic movie is. Uh, so she's great. And we mentioned Dean Cain is Tracy's ex, uh, ex now, <laughs> uh, boyfriend. Then, of course, Smash Mouth, we talked about playing themselves as the band, uh, playing for the charity. Then DDP and Kimberly as themselves, but I read somewhere that this was a deleted scene, so not in the movie. Uh, and then he always puts his mom, Charlotte Zucker, in each film. He says that, uh, like, Hitchcock or, you know, some of the other well-known directors, they would put themselves in movies, think of like Sham Hammer, Hitchcock, I think Spielberg has done it, uh, Peter Jackson's cameoed in like other films along with his, but instead of him cameoing in his own film, he uses his mother to put in there and she cameos. She is one of the uh, Lucy impersonators I couldn't find the exact match, but out of one of these crowd shots of the Lucy impersonators, maybe you can spot her. Uh, but that was Hidden Gems. If you have not checked out the 2001 Rat Race, go right now because we're about to end the video and watch Rat Race. It is a fantastic comedy a great ensemble cast uh, with lots of laughs, lots of uh, unique moments, uh, and you're not sure who's going to win, what's going to happen, 
but it's a fun ride so go check it out like subscribe share with a rat race lover until next time go watch this film and keep collecting